With chronostratigraphy, you're trying to correlate different rock sections based on time. In other words, you want to identify which rocks were deposited at the same time. In lithostratigraphy, you are correlating sections or rocks based on the rock type or lithology. So these are two very different processes and they have different purposes. If you want to reconstruct ancient depositional environments, chronostratigraphy is the main process of trying to identify the distribution of environments in space and through time. If you're interested in reservoir properties, for example, for water reservoirs or oil reservoirs, or the variation of, of different rock types in space, then you would use lithostratigraphy, where you correlate things based on similar rock properties. I'm going to show a river flowing into a lake. We're going to keep the lake level the same, but the river is bringing in sediment and it's slowly filling up the lake. So the river stratification, you often have sandstone with trough cross stratification um, here. And as the river mouth, as the river flows into the uh, lake, the flow speed slows down significantly and you tend to deposit a lot of sand often with ripple cross lamination. The slope builds up and it becomes steep and it becomes steep enough that turbidites, it fails and produces turbidites and you get turbidites deposited in the lake out here and they're interbedded with shale from the background settling of mud from suspension. So in the lake here we have shale being deposited with sandstone beds with current ripples in them from the turbidites. Here we have current ripples being deposited and we'll say this is a big lake and there are actually some waves and so we have some wave ripples in this environment here. So over time more sediment comes in from the river it builds out a delta and fills in the lake with sediment here. So if we look at a stratigraphic column over here, it's different than what we would see in this environment over here. And if you look at those two rock types and correlate them, there'll be a difference in the correlation um, if you're connecting different rock types versus rocks that formed at different times. So the lines I've drawn here are profiles of the environment at specific times. So these represent the timelines the way I've drawn this diagram. Now, if we look at the rock type here at the delta front where the river is flowing into the lake, that's the same rock type you had over here it was deposited at an earlier time. So here you have ripple cross lamination current with wave ripples coming off here and over here you have some trough cross stratification. Out here you have shale with sand and as the river mouth gets closer you have more and more sand because the turbidites are closer or the source of the turbidites is closer and closer. So here you have mostly shale, a little bit of sand, mostly shale down here, and more sand coming up here. So if you look at it, the rock types are the same in an environment here. That would be the trough cross stratified zone dominated by the river deposits. Here you have wave ripple deposits and current ripple deposits. Out here you have mostly shale in this zone here and here you have a mix of the shale with turbidites with fewer turbidites going up into more turbidites. So these lines, these boxes I've drawn here show um, the, the rock type correlations 
And so these would be correlations based on lithostratigraphy, whereas the lines running through here represent the timelines. Now, one of the challenges of doing chronostratigraphy or, the, or matching the timelines is that the rocks don't always provide you with something that's nice to trace. There are a number of, of geologic events that do provide those timelines, like volcanic eruptions, uh, meteorite impacts, uh, in a case like this, large storms or tsunami waves um, could cause uh, some of these timelines. So again, the key point is that when you're correlating rocks, there are different ways to do it, and they're useful for different problems. And a lot of times, correlating the same rock types gives you a very different correlation than correlating rocks that were deposited at the same time. Okay, well, thanks for watching.